Okay, so here's going to be my pivot arm right here with a spring or shock. I'm not sure yet. Let's see what I can find. But where this is cut, I'm actually going to heat this up after it's welded on here and bend these down and weld it to here so it's got more support. Right? So that'll be pretty cool. So there's my pivot arm. And that'll be sort of my platen. It's, you know, I'm going to drill a couple of holes here. I'm actually going to use skateboard wheels. One here and one here. <laughs> I've seen a guy on YouTube do that and apparently it worked freaking awesome. So, so that's going to be welded to here, nice and square. Um, still got to drill my holes yet. I just marked it on this side because it's square. You can flip it around for tightening, you know, my adjustments and that kind of stuff. But, uh... Yeah, I think this will work. I think these might be a little bit too long, but I'm going to leave them the way they are for now until I uh, bring the motor to my shop and that kind of stuff. And But I've got so much of this 5160 steel, which is really thick. A whole whack of it over there. So, but uh, I think this is going to be a pretty quick and easy build and cheap. I'm into it now for about, um, geez, 40 bucks. That's about it. 40 bucks so far for the steel and the frame is uh, the biggest part you know, as long as you have a motor and belts so but as you can see we'll heat that up bend it down weld it heat it up bend it down weld it it doesn't matter if it's straight I'm just drilling pilot holes for my you know just for reference points for now and now I'm gonna do another cut on my little another little arm up here so this is a big piece, and then this is going to be my tracking piece, so we'll see how it goes after that. Now I hear my cat whining, wanting to come in. <laughs> Man, this cat loves me so much. Don't know why. Alright, later.